Okay, I'll answer. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Sylvia and I do videos all about succeeding as a freelancer using Upwork and social media. So if that's something you're into, don't forget to hit subscribe. Today, we're talking about the top five questions that I get about Upwork, literally no joke, every single day. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Question number one, what do I need to start and can I do it without experience? First of all, yes, <laughs> yes you can, but second of all, you likely have more experience than you're thinking of right now. Whether it's from a past job, school, or just a hobby, we all have experience in something, even if we feel it's irrelevant. Take me for example, when I first started back in 2013, I literally had no experience whatsoever. I didn't even have like a retail job in my past but i would draw every single day both for school and for fun so i started out doing illustrations truth is i see too many freelancers saying i'm not ready or i need to take another course first and don't get me wrong <laughs> courses are great and i've taken a ton of them but there are some things that you just learn by actually doing the thing so stop waiting for the perfect time and start today okay all right so question number two people will send me stuff every single day asking oh this situation sounds sketchy but i don't know if it's a scam or not and i hate to tell you if you're asking this it probably is i'll link below the video that i did on the different types of scams on upwork but essentially if they're asking you to talk or interview with them over Telegram, WhatsApp, or Skype, or if they are asking you to pay a fee or an ID card to be able to work, or simply if it just seems too sketchy or too good to be true, then it likely is a scam. And you know what you should do if it's a scam? You should actually go back to the job post and report it on Upwork so you can get your connects back and so no more freelancers can get scammed. Now, question number three is why am I not getting any jobs? Now, I hate to tell you this, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're likely being too selfish. Here's the thing, clients, they're selfish too. They don't want to be sold to and all they want to know is what's in it for them. And your profile and proposals, they need to show that clear as day. I see a lot of freelancers treating their profiles and sometimes even their proposals as a grocery list of all their skills and how great they are and while that's important, like don't get me wrong, it doesn't tell them what's in it for them. Like, yeah, you're great, we get it, but what problem do you actually solve? tell them that. Like, for real, your profile and your proposals need to speak directly to the client and to their pain points and their goals. So put your client hat on, look at your profile from their perspective and make any changes necessary. Another question that I get very often is, what's your secret? Like, how do you get so many jobs? And you're not gonna like either of my responses here, but it's a mix of time and video. I've been building a reputation on Upwork for almost nine years, having gotten myself the top rated plus badge and over a hundred positive reviews. And while you definitely don't need to wait years to succeed, it'll definitely get easier with time. For example, I now get invited to most of the jobs that I apply to, which means I don't need to spend so much time searching for clients. That being said, if you're just starting out, don't get discouraged. You may need to spend some more time now looking for jobs, but it'll eventually pay off big time. On the other hand, the fact that I now include a video with most of my proposals has gotten me a lot of clients to actually reach back out to me because if you submitted any proposals on Upwork, you know a lot of them just don't ever respond. And not only that, like it literally increases their level of trust and the likeliness that they're going to hire me for the job. So literally there is like no reason for not doing video in my opinion. So 
my tip for you is to keep at it, keep doing your best, dare to do video because it's definitely worth it and great things will come. Question number five is how do I make money fast? Simple answer here, you can't. I mean, you can, but it definitely shouldn't be your goal if you don't want to get disappointed. Truth is, and we've seen this before, is building trust and a good reputation just takes time. It's not something that will happen overnight. And if you're entering this journey, you need to be okay with that. You need to be okay with quote unquote failure, some trial and error and learning as you go. And while I do my best to try and prepare you for the journey, there are some things that you will have to learn on your own. I can't promise it'll be perfect, but I can promise it'll be worth it. So if you desire that freedom of location and time as I did, definitely try it out and keep at it. Have a question I didn't answer? Let me know in the comments and I may include it in a future video. And in the meantime, if you want to keep on learning, I recommend you watch this video right here on the top five mistakes that I see people make on Upwork. So I'll see you there.